Since you're just letting your imagination run away with you. Whew. That's in 
trouble. You'll be fine. Things. Get back on, it'll escape. What will? There it is. <laughs> what? It was one of them. It was right there. I'm sure of it. Yeah. All right, Grab. I could hear through the floorboards. Don't be silly, Etty. Your dad's far too clever to get mixed up with those creatures. You'd have to be a complete idiot to go upstairs when there's beans about. That's right. What you've got to realise is borrowing is boring. Well, let me come with you next time so I can see for myself. Why? Everything you need, I provide for. Why, everything? Look, I've told you before, there aren't any other borrowers. At least, not round here. You'd have to walk for miles. It'd take weeks, months even. But what about my aunt and uncle? My cousin Agotina? We can't. Well, we could go visit them. You must know where they are. We are not visiting anyone. Why not? Because I said so. Don't unfair! Hate you! Thank you, Dad, for the beautiful strawberry cream you... What's that for? I was worried sick. I had it under control. Yeah, it sounded like it too. You know, you weren't much older than her when you got your first pickings. Down here, she's safe. Down here, we can take care of her. Yeah, and having the time of her life, too. Well, she got it better than most. It's not enough for her. She's like you. Borrowings in her blood. <sighs> Arietti?
break in and I suggest you go ahead and break back out again. Can you unbelieve this? You can't let her see me. No, you can't, please. What is it? What are you hiding in there? Nothing. My paint pots. Well, which is it? Nothing, it's nothing. Oh well, no, it's not nothing. It's my paint pots. Which is nothing. I'm not hiding anything. I will not hide. Well, keep it down. You might not need your boots to sleep, but I certainly do. You're telling me. I heard that. I can't believe she was right. Vulnerable person. Who are you calling little? <laughs> well, you are quite small. No, I'm not. It's you who's too big, a great big overgrown giant. We're just the right size. We? There's more of you. I didn't say that. Get back! Ow! I was only going to help you out. You aren't going to eat me. Eat you won't be the point. My name's James. Ariete! Want a hand? Yes, please. Oh. <laughs> if that was supposed to be funny... Well, it serves you right for stealing my gun. We don't steal. We borrow. So there are more of you. What's that? How about I show you? So what exactly does this thing... Arietti, are you all right? I'm so sorry. I had no idea you fight so well. Can we do it again? I'll show you. Try to imagine what it looked like then. The sky, the houses. We call it Hackney. <laughs> right, you must promise not to tell anyone. I promise. Who's that? My mum. She died last year. Sorry. We don't talk about it though, in case it upsets me. Uh, I'll see you soon. Oh, go on. Don't just sit there gawping. Go. See ya. Microcebus myoxinus, the pygmy mouse lemur, which, let us not forget, is, like you and me, a primate. And uh, Altebleryx albiventris, the African dwarf hedgehog, so-called because of its white stomach. Countless times we come across these examples of, of life in miniature. And yet, and yet, the very notion of miniaturization in the homo genus is dismissed as absurd, despite clear 
photographic evidence. Hmm? Yes? Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Homo sapiens redactus. Wise man reduced. Jonathan, you need evidence. Well, there are photographs. As there are the Loch Ness Monster. Fairies, pixies, leprechauns, the Hawaiian Menahune, the Yunui Tsunzi of Cherokee legend, the Scandinavian Snow Forest. The South African Tukuloshi. Indeed, Jennifer, let's not forget the Tukuloshi. Myths, legends. Yes, in almost every culture around the globe, there are references to little people. Now, are we to dismiss it as mere coincidence that separate cultures individually dreamt up the same myth, or is it not more likely that there is, in fact, truth behind that myth? I've had complaints. Drop it from the course. I'm no longer asking. What a total chop. Worry not, Jennifer. The Inquisition may have forced Galileo to recant his notion that the Earth revolves around the sun, but I am not so easily turned. I had a word with your dad about taking you upstairs. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself, though. You've got a lot to learn. I'll be able to do it. Just as cocky as your dad was. Oh, nothing like him. You better hope that's not true. Why? Because great borrowers have an instinct. They know what's going to happen before it actually does sense a beam before they're seen. Do you hear it? Yeah. I'd just like to let your dad take most of the glory. You don't, do you? No, I don't have it, but your dad does. As did his father, and his father before him. So uh, I might have it. But you didn't want to be like him. I don't. Much time. Well, what's happening? I've been seen. Get your things. Come on, come on. Can you give me a hand? James, what you doing with those? You're not to touch your mum's doll's house ever. Sorry, I wasn't. Me the clock doing like that.
Michael, now! No! Watch. I was just playing. That looks like your grandfather's gold sovereign. Ah! Something just moved down there. I didn't see anything. Look, they're everywhere. They got your grandfather's gold coins. See my little pickpockets. See anything. Liar! Carol. I'm not crazy, Robert. I know what I saw, and so does he. Built a den under there for my toys. You okay? I'm used to it by now. Come here. Just try not to let it upset you, okay? Even I'm still getting used to having his ear. Leave this lot, I'll sort it out when I get back. Where are you going? I've taken a night job just to tide us over. You look after your ground for me. I want a house lift to come home to. Where will we live? Somewhere new. The, I've looked outside. There's hundreds of houses, thousands. You know, might even find some more than us. So many bees. We'll emigrate. We'll move somewhere far from here, somewhere safe. Come on. Okay. Let's go. Move, move, move. Yeah. So, um, if I can ask, how exactly did you find out about my particular area of expertise? Uh, on the internet. Ah, silver surfer, eh? Well, platinum blonde, if you will. Naturally. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, this is uh, Jennifer, my international research student. She has a rare and inquisitive mind. Rest assured, Carol, anything you wish to say to me, you can say in front of her. So, 
How can I help you? I've seen one of them. One of what, exactly? One of the little people. You should have known us without her. Your dad had his reasons. He's she should know. No what? Stay with your mother. But where are you going? Find someone to get us out of here. It's been a while. It certainly has. But our dad. There's a whole nest of them right there under the floorboards. Oh, if my skin crawled, just thinking about it. You are certain it was here. Where's it gone? Right there, my wristwatch was hanging on the wall there. They took my husband's half sovereign, crafty little thieves. No one stole anything. I was only borrowing it. This watch went missing long before you and your father moved here. Tell me the truth now and I won't be cross. Well, that's not true. I will be cross, but not as much as if you lie. I took it. Young man. Have you any idea of the scientific value of these creatures? A species so similar to our own, we could learn so much from Homo sapiens redactus. Huh? From the little people. What little people? Are you for real? Oh, yes. I most assuredly am for real. Check this. Tweezers. Oh no. If you were planning to set a trap for Homo sapiens redactors, what would be the most irresistible bait? I still got the top score, yeah? Where are you going? You with the hair. I'm talking to you. Hi. Hi. Don't... Hi, me. Didn't you see my daughter there? Mm -hmm. It's okay. I, I'm, I'm fine. Hi. Hi. My name's Spiller. She doesn't care what your name is. Have you ever been on the back of a motorbike? No. No, and you won't either. Take it from me. They're not worth the risk. 
that you've been on a motorbike. We're not talking about me. Well, maybe we should be. Oh, you keep rubbing me up the wrong way. See what happens. Well, I won't be rubbing you up anyway, love. Right, apologize. Ow! Apologize. For what? For running her over. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Were you hurt? No, no, it was that I've just grazed my hand. Oh, well, let me kiss it better. I don't think so. Where else are you hurt? I've got plenty more kisses. All right, right, let's just get out of here. You never told me your name. So close, so close. And you wonder why your father kept you under the floorboards. Yes. <laughs> right, right. It's really changed here. It's bigger. Blimey pod, that's insightful. Well, it is. You got a fight in your hands just walking down the street. Yeah, but it's it's fun to be at the heart of it all again. I found a guide. It's going to take us to an house far away from here, outside the city. Only one bean. Plenty of borrowings. <laughs> I was thinking maybe we could stay here. We we'll leave tomorrow. Yeah, but I think it would be better for our Yeti. I mean, down here we are far from any beans. I won't be able to keep me eye on her. Well, maybe that's a good thing. We we'll leave tomorrow. a handful. You might stand a chance of hitting something. Let's see. No, I don't. You don't had my eye out. Oh, it says you're right for nearly running me over. Why are you staring at me like that? She never told me your name. Arietti. 
Hey, I didn't know she was your daughter. Not that I dream of doing anything. I see you've met our guide. They're only getting to know one another. Not too well, I hope. I know your reputation, but I have to ask. Payment on arrival, as agreed. Can I at least see it? How do you know my dad? He doesn't. You want some rat? It's good. I hope you've got something else for his to eat. Got some hedgehog. Really quite grubby, aren't you? I don't know how you mean. Everything all right, Jennifer? Yes, Bob. Just there's quite a bug down here. Is there any sign of our quarry? Set the trap and make sure that the mechanism is well camouflaged. What are you doing with us? Oh, hello, um, uh, boy. Um, ah, uh, well, we're trying to ensnare your unwanted guests. Uh, alive, preferably, but if not, well, a dead specimen is as much a proof of the existence of the species as a live one, isn't it? I'm going to lower down another trap now. You know you're wasting your time. Oh, really? They don't exist. Uh, yeah, well, I think I'd rather believe your grandmother on that score, thank you. Uh, by the way, I, I was... I was wondering, um, is there a Mr. Driver? No. Granddad died years ago. Excellent. I mean, isn't it, isn't it excellent how your grandmother copes? She's so alive. She's so, so vital. Can't find anything down there. Ah, that's what you think. Yeah, I give my warmest regards to your grandmother. Tell her we won't rest until until we've captured every one of these creatures here. Uh... Rob, the three dogs around here. Oh, don't be such a crybaby. The only I've got. I'm not even doing anything. You've got that look on your face. What look? That look. What? A homily. Well, you're such a grumpy old man these days. You. Ah, you're the one who can't stand up straight. Really don't like you. Well, that's because you haven't got to know me yet. Some old junk. This is your favourite game. No, it's Daniel Wicks's favourite game. Winning bid three pounds fifty. These are your toys. You can't. Well, I hardly play with them anymore. James, you don't have to do this. Gareth Woods, two pounds fifty. Then you won't get you this. Should understand. Right. Better get going. No way, Dad. Ties wonky. So, what does shortlist actually mean? Two, maybe three other candidates. What's he got a good chance then? Oh, yeah. I don't suppose you've seen many keys anywhere, have you? Where's my key ring? 
Jeremy Harris, 70 pence. Just don't sell gran, okay? No. I know. You know, no matter how much you think you know about something, until you've actually experienced it, no idea. I was trying to do right by you. By keeping me under the floorboards. You're still young. Sixteen! You know, if you'd shown me how to borrow, I'd have been more careful. I wouldn't have been seen. You went upstairs once and look what happened That's to That's because us. I didn't know what I was doing. If you'd have taught me... It was too dangerous. You two were as bad as each other. No, Mum. I'm sorry, but not. Arietti. What is it? Proper food. You be careful. Oh, you're never happier than when you're telling me what to do. No, listen to your father. Prof, Trap 501 has been deployed. It's no use, it's too heavy. The candle, maybe, maybe we can melt the frame. It's worth a try. What is it? Odd? I know. Still in my pack. Huh? You promise me you'll keep us safe. I promise. I, I don't understand. The, the matches will dry. We'll get, we'll get you out. Oh, it's too late. They're here. What? Beans. You go with Stella. No, I'm not leaving you. You've got to. Oh, okay. We'll find a way to get back to you. We'll escape. Go with him to the underground. No! Well, I won't leave you here. Go listen to your father. No! no. Just listen to him. Sorry. Don't be. Take her, Stella. Come on. Go. Uh, this isn't had too much experience. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? Which means he's too old. What are you doing with those? Well, I thought we could put them up on the roof. Gran's got a ladder in the garden. I'm sorry. We'll do it another time, yeah?
I made you a sandwich. I cut the crust off so your hair won't go curly. Let me make a right mess. Dad doesn't want to be out all hours, you know. Feels like he does. He's got job interviews. And the only reason he's working every night humping meat around is so that we can afford a nice Christmas. I don't care about Christmas. Thanks for giving back the watch in the mirror. Thought they'd gone forever. Just one thing still missing. Grandfather's gold sovereign. Is it worth a lot of money? Grandfather always said so. Still, it's gone. Isn't it? Why are you asking me? Because you took, sorry, borrowed the other things. Come on, James. You can talk to me. I'm your grandmother. I haven't got your stupid coin. <sighs> hey. Where are you going? Huh? Look, there's nothing we could have done. He could have tried. And we'd have been taken too. Come back. Get off me. Get off. Look, look, you can't go after them. They're gone. Satan. Okay, look. I'm sorry. Look. Getting yourself killed isn't going to bring him back. Go back to the underground and spit up. There's no way out. What are they going to do to us? I dread to think. Just glad Etty's safe. For now. What do you mean? There's no way she's going to let Spiro take her to the underground. She's far too stubborn for that. Well, she gets that from you. From me? She doesn't just get the bad bits from you. She gets the good stuff too. Your cleverness, your courage, your warmth. Rugged good looks. I wouldn't go that far. But you should be proud. You should be pleased that she wants to travel the world, that she's got the same sense of adventure as you. I am. I've been an idiot, haven't I? Yes. You have. But you're my idiot. So you're forgiven. This is a message for Carol, my platinum blonde bombshell. Anyway, I, I wanted you to be the first to hear the good news. We have them. The little thieves that have been terrorizing you for so long. Message deleted. <sighs>
Ellie's heart is a curious thing. An enigma wrapped in a quandary, a, a cryptic conundrum secretly scrawled on a scroll of finest woven papyrus and locked in a Cyrus cylinder of the utmost complexity. It's unfathomable, utterly unfathomable. I suppose that's why we find it so alluring, isn't it, Clive? Oh, Clive. I understand the creatures of the world at a cellular level, molecular even. Yet the secrets of a woman's heart are a, a mystery that I've never been able to solve. Until now. Ha! Now, now I can play the part of the conquering hero, the triumphant warrior, returning, having slain the beast. And I can lay my heart open at the homestead of my love. Professor. How long have you been standing there listening to me? Not long. Seconds. Good. Very good. Excellent. So how can I help you? There's a problem with the specimens. Sorry. I mean the beasts. <laughs> Do we get to slay them now? Be quiet, Jennifer. We should be safe here. What is this place? Hey, you're shivering. I need to get you dry. Wow. Come on. Hmm. Go use ultrasound to see if I can detect a heartbeat. What happened? Well, it could be any number of causes, really. Proximal factors, close human contact, airborne diseases, shock. Does this mean I get to dissect the little scabangers? I have to say, I find it a little disconcerting that you had that quite so readily to hand. Jenny? Yes, Prof? Where have they gone? Seriously, where are they? What? Well, that's impossible. And do I get a thank you? Of course. For saving your life. Ah, that poor silly thing. <sighs> I should have let you get sucked up by that machine. Oh, so why didn't you? Don't think it's because I like you. I don't. So why did you come back then? Because I want that coin, and I need to keep you safe to get it. So you're going to help me? Don't look at me like that. I meant what I said. I still don't like you. Well, that's because you haven't got to know me yet. Is that an offer? Whoa! Oh, you move fast. Not that I'm complaining. Things are coming. What? No, they're not. Begin to love. Thinking. Oh, how wonderful. You can talk. Run! Gotcha! Celeste. I picked it up. You sing in every borrowing season. Yeah, the beans don't call it that. They call it Christmas. Who cares? All I know is that for three weeks every year, the beans leave rich pickings for us borrowers. Mm. Strawberry cream for dessert every night. Nuts, chocolate. Oh, I could tell you were spoiled. I left in a hole. Yeah, your dad's a bit of a nutter, isn't he? Don't call him that. Do you change your tune. How do you know my dad? You may not think to look at him now, but your old man's a hero. What? He stopped the beans from finding the underground and risked his life to do it too. I don't believe you. Fair enough. Spell it, what happened? Your dad wasn't able to save everyone. And there was a girl. She didn't make it. Why? He had to make a choice. What's she called? Agotina. My cousin? Yeah, well, after that he wasn't seen round the underground again. 
He even knows he'd saved the town. Everyone blames him for her death. No. No, but he did. That probably explains why you had it so good. If you didn't want for nothing, there'd be no reason for you to go getting into trouble, would there? Nuts, chocolate, strawberry cream. I haven't got close to strawberry cream in years, and you've been getting them every night. Do you really think we'll, we'll be able to find them? Yeah. Of course we will. No idea how yet, but... Who in the Lord Jesus is our one hope? Can you get us back home? To my old home, I mean. There's someone there I think can help. Who? Oh. No, you can't be serious. Not one of them. They can't be trusted. This one can be. Sorry to hear about your grandmother. I hope it's nothing too serious. No, just a cold. Ah, my night is acute to Katara list. Well, you make sure you give her my very best wishes. Yeah. Now then, young man. Do you remember telling me that this was from one of your dolls? Well, I suppose I must have been wrong. Indeed. Behold. Can I have a closer look? Don't touch! Wily little weasels. Are you calling a weasel? I thought you had not to speak to him. Are you putting up with her insults, calling us names like that? It's fascinating, isn't it? Their domestic constructs are really not so very different from our own. We demand food and water and to be released immediately. Sustenance will naturally be provided. We want you in the rudest possible health before you're presented to the world. You'll be the scientific discovery of the age. Well, you know what you can do with your scientific discovery. You can stick that right up your... You want to put them on display? Only for a very short period before we get down to the serious business of anatomical analysis. Physical tests, blood work. Dissection? Obviously dissection. You want to cut them up? Well, it's not bad as it sounds. We'll gas them first. We're not monsters, you know. Were there any others? Uh, well, these were the only two we captured. Why, have you seen any more? No. I, I just saw those two. Huh. Now, this exquisite grandmother of yours, do you think she's a, a bunch of flowers or a, or, a, or, a, or a box of chocolate sort of person? I think you like it. I was thinking all those dabs around and some Swiss toy. I wanted it to be special. Oh, what a stupid waste of money. I thought I might have done something right for a change. Yeah, that would have been a change. He's my boy. Yeah, I know. And how many more times are you going to let him down? <sighs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It's all right. It's not. You distract yourself with the little things and... and you end up forgetting about what's really important. I'm sorry. Close this. We didn't have enough to get by. I thought you would get a job soon, and I thought I could keep up the repayments. We're taking the house. Keep out of sight and let me do the talking. Thanks for getting me back, Spiller. Without you, I wouldn't have had a clue where I was going, Spiller. The attention. 
attention of the scientific community will tomorrow be focused on the zoological department of a London university. Professor Jonathan Mildeye... That's him! Once revealed You're alive! That's the being who took my parents! Ah! Oh, I really run! Oh, you pull my face off! Let him go! Oh. Oh. He was gonna squash oh. you! No, he wasn't! Are you all right? This is Spiller. He's an idiot. Hey! That, who is he? His name's Professor Mildeye. He has him in his laboratory. So he's gonna stay alive then. For now. And if it's true, it'll be one of, if not the greatest discovery in natural history we've ever known. should be comfortable. I mean, the mattress has real springs and everything. Wow, it's beautiful. <sighs> I, I, I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but it's... Is there anyone you have? What's up with it? Oh, nothing. It's perfect. It's just that there's only one of it. Now, what's the problem? There's plenty of room for both of us. Well, Gran's upstairs now, and I can't risk taking another. But do you really think we're going to be able to pull it off? Guess we'll find out tomorrow. Better get to bed. Night, James. Night. Hold on tight. Come on. Saved you a spot. years I've wanted to get away. Miss them. that Professor Mildeye has in fact managed to capture one of the creatures and there's speculation he'll reveal it to us. The interest is huge and scientists from all over the country have descended upon the university eagerly awaiting this morning's <laughs> presentation. Ah, are we primed? The camera is set up, ready to broadcast across the net. We've already had over a million hits on the site. I've been waiting for this moment all my life. Years of ridicule, ostracized for expounding a theory that has turned out to be correct. I've always been solid behind you. And soon they all will be. I shall join the pantheon of scientific greats. Darwin, Mendel, Crick, Watson, mild eye. Miss me too much. Oh no. Ah, this 
Nervous? It's okay to admit it. Even I am a little bit. You can do this. Can I say you're a complete idiot? So you said. And, and quite annoying. Well, I, I, actually, very and, and arrogant. Completely. But I'm, I'm glad you're here. You know, despite you being you. If I wasn't, you wouldn't like me. Probably, you know. So you do like me? So, do you? Do I what? You know. Spill it, we haven't got time for any of your stupid games. <sighs> Unbelievable. and enthusiasm and they're almost childlike. Well, she's getting on now. Hands are a bit shaky. So what would you suggest I give her next? Um, silk stockings, perhaps? But there is something else you could do to get my grand's attention. Go on. Those creatures are yours. Uh, Homo sapiens redactors? Yeah. She hates them. Wants them all wiped out and I know we can find a whole load more of them. Keep back! That's my husband you're molesting! Normally, don't start! Look, we face and want him to get a good look at your anatomy. I don't care what you call it, you're not getting your hands on my husband! I'm coming! That's when his underpants and mum's shouting, so I, I guess they're okay. Oh. I'm on my way now. I want this clothes off by the time I get back. I don't know how much more I could take than this. It's going to be all right. How? How is it going to be all right? How can you say that? Because Arietti's just about to save us. What? Arietti? Yes! Thank you! It's his! Now, grab the thread. We haven't much time. Okay, grab it. Okay. You first. But I... Don't start. The boy made the most extraordinary suggestion. He claims that there are more communities of these borrowers. Waiting for you. Thanks, you're amazing. <laughs> Thanks, you're amazing. Are you jealous? Hey, I don't do jealous, right? If anything, he's probably jealous of me. If anything.
very warm zone. The Japanese are very sick as they speak. The implications are very strong. Where are you going, boy? I've secured the specimens. What is it? Why are we still falling? He's about to be seen. We need to come in. Are you sure? She says so. I believe her. Hurry! Paul! Oh, no. So, you thought you'd get away, did you? See you around sometime. No, wait! Stella! Get him, get him! Stella! Go! I'll be fine! Run! Oh, because we go back for him now! Run! We've got to go! Run! Oh, this way! This way! Ah. Have you found him? Get me, get me there somewhere! Are you sure you know what you're doing? Well, just let her go on with it. <laughs> Relax. Stay calm. Get us out of here now! Eggers. Etty? No, I, I, I can't. I can't just leave him. He was glad to save you. We'll go back for him. But right now, we really need to get out of here. Swine. I'm going to have to suggest that we get moving now. Etty, trust me. Please. Right. What? He's, they're getting away! Get that specimen! Arietti, I think you've done really well, but I think your mother's right, and I think I should drive now. You two worry too much. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Things happen to Spiller. He'll be fine. If Maldai's got him, we're going back. Wait, something's happening. Thank you, thank you all for your patience. Today, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to witness something truly remarkable. In years to come. This will be regarded as one of the greatest discoveries in scientific history. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Homo sapiens redactus. Jack. Scavengers. Where, where are you going? Wait, ah, so the truth frightens you, does it? You're scared of the truth. Well, I'm not surprised because Homo sapiens redactus lives amongst us. You philistine. Well, don't blame me. You go home and you check your crawl spaces and your skirting boards and your, and your attics. And when things go missing, don't come running to me because these people are watching us and they're laughing at us. You really thought those clumsy beams had any chance of catching me? Spiller! Ah. Really thought you were dead. Nah, no, not even close. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm just obviously glad you're safe. So you do like me? Thanks, Spiller. Just returning the favor. You hadn't have done what you did. Maybe I had another reason. If I didn't do it, I wasn't going to get my reward, was I? What? Well, that was the deal, right? I get the coin. Well, so, so that's the only reason that you did what you did? Well, no, but... I thought you were doing some, something noble, something brave. Hang on a minute, it was brave. Wait. Here, take your stupid pull. Oh, Excuse me, would you mind if I have a look at that? Oh. You know that was your mother's favourite toy? Play with it for hours. <sighs> she used to talk to her dolls as if they were real people. I miss her. So do I. Come here. It'll get easier. Yeah, I know. No one needed something to live. Yeah, I found the letter. You sneaky child. Sorry, we should have told you. Try not to worry, we'll sort something out. Not sure what yet. Might end up sleeping in a tent. Still be an adventure, won't it? What's that? How did this get here? Santa baby, slip the sable under the tree from me. 
In an awful big girl, Santa baby, and hurry down the chimney Punch, you got me a pair of punts. Kill you. Santa baby. Chocolate. Light blue. I'll wait up for you, I just don't understand. How is it possible? Wonder where they've gone. There's no wrappers anywhere. It's like they've disappeared. What have? The strawberry creams, every one of them has been eaten. Yeah, well, don't look at me. I like the purple ones. Penny toffee. Well, actually, it wasn't either of you two, and it wasn't me. Who else could it be? You said I could have that coin. Well, it wasn't ours to give. Remember, we don't take things. We borrow. Which means sometimes we have to give them back. No, it doesn't. That's a stupid idea. And keep her safe. I was told, and I get the coin. I kept her safe. Rubbish, I was the one looking after you. Oh, what? If it wasn't for me, you'd have been sucked up into that machine. I'd have thought of something. Yeah, you'd have been shredded to pieces. It really wasn't as bad as it sounds. Ariati. Please don't say I can't go out again. I'm not going to. What? I was wrong. You've got a gift. We think you should be allowed to go out and use it. Go... Go where? Anywhere you want. Back to the underground. Wherever you choose. But I've only just found you. We'll always be here. Squirt. Thanks for everything, James. Take care. I'll see you soon. Make sure you look after Spillo. Later. Love you, Dad. Try and be careful. You know me. Big drama next, it's just pursued and Zainab's old flame in an explosive EastEnders. And then a walking disaster, Guy Hubble has somehow become the royal bodyguard. David Jason stars in brand new comedy at 9.30 here on BBC One. Oh,